everyone, welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. I got a lot of requests for this video. So this is golden carbon black mixed into my pouring medium. My pouring, pouring medium is Bear 8300 in Josanya. Video number 82, I believe, is how I mix up my paints. This is this little piggy TLP Harvest Gold. So I'm using all golds in this one because I wanted to see how they all acted together and showed off their beautiful sparkliness. Um, this next pigment is Ore from TLP. So I'm using all TLP pigments today. You could get them at fluidart.co. I'm layering now the carbon black again over the pigment. The carbon black is the only shade or color I'm using. This is Lemon Sorbet, and it looks yellow, and, but in a lot of lights, it's a really beautiful, bright gold, which I love. And this is a TLP Ball Gown, which is a gold interference. So I'm using, in this piece, four different golds, um, all different shades, and I'm just topping, off, topping it off with titanium white in my pouring medium. And what I'm going to do, because I'm doing a multiple bloom, is I'm going to put my color puddles down first and then blow them out because I don't want the cells to sink while I'm working on the other ones. So each one of these I'm layering in different um, ways. So this one I started with Harvest Gold, and then I'm topping that off with the ore. I never put more than two pigments on top of each other without breaking it up with a tube paint because I don't want them to melt and sink. So there's the carbon black that I'm adding on top. And what am I gonna do next, I wonder? I am putting ball gown right on top. And the, the, the lemon sorbet. Topping it off with the white. And my cell activator I'm going to be using today is the Shelly Art Recipe. I'm using Payne's Gray. I have 15% off her class in my description. I really suggest it because there's, we have live videos every other week and there's just thousands of people to help you because it's really hard to get the blue without help. I'm sure you've noticed if you tried. So that one I started with the carbon black and then I added the ball gown on top of that, followed by the lemon sorbet. Some more carbon black. And you can do this with any color, I just wanted to keep it simple with black, white, and gold. And then I'm topping that off with the harvest gold. And a little ore. When you're doing multiple blooms, you don't want them too far apart, but you don't want them too close together. So you kind of have to think very strategically. This is a 22 inch round, by the way. So here's the cell activator, my Payne Spray cell activator. I'm using Amsterdam. And I'm trying to blow out and not cover the other puddles that I, oops, I blew too hard there. <laughs> the other colors of puddles that I made. There's my first bloom, and you want to work kind of quickly when you're doing this. And even if it looks like a hot mess at first, what I'm going to do after is kind of join them together so they look like they kind of belong together, which is hard. Multiple blooms are kind of hard because they could just end up looking very busy which this actually did end up looking very busy, but I still love it. So you see, I'm trying not to push over the other blooms that I've done. And pretty soon I'm going to take my skewer and try to join them together and modify them a little bit so it looks like they kind of belong together. And you can use anything. Sometimes I use plastic cutlery, 
You can use popsicle sticks. And I'm kind of joining them in decorative ways. And right now it looks kind of dark, but it's not going to be this dark once I spin it out and resin it. And in a minute we're going to spin it and see what we get. My pillow paint, the first layer by the way, is Sherwin-Williams Color To Go. This is the deep base, which is the blue label, which is thinner than the green label. And here we go, let's see what happens. I think she turned out really, really pretty. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope you enjoy and have a good day. Bye-bye.